Now this video was to check on, I gotta check on y'all, the official Apple leather case owners out there for the previous iPhones, are you okay? Do you need Technically T to come save the day for your leather needs? Because I know Apple left you high and dry and they gave you the fine woven case. I still got my thoughts about that case. We're gonna talk about that a little update, but you guys don't have a leather case to go to. But I've been telling you for years that those leather case, the quality has just been going downhill and they got rid of them for a reason, all right? Yeah, they fit okay and all that stuff, but they got rid of it. So now you need to find a new leather case that fits your leather case needs because true leatherologists out there need a nice leather case. And that's why I will be talking about the Andar Aspen, which I feel is if one of the best, if not the best leather case that is on the market for features and bang for your buck. Now let's go ahead and clear the air. Take a breath, T, because I know I did my recent collaboration with Andar in the technically red color way. Now, I know a lot of people are saying, but T, you're only going to be saying these positive things because they did a collaboration with you. Look, that has nothing to do with it. If there's something wrong with this case, I'm going to point it out just like any other person would point out, whether we had a collab together, whatever it is. You know I'm always keeping the buck with y'all, man, so don't think I'm just because I got the collaboration I'm going to be peddling for. No, that's not how we do things on this channel. If there's something wrong with it, I'm still going to point it out. Just like I pointed out when there was an action button. I was a big advocate. It was like, hey, you got to finish this. People don't want it. That's why I didn't talk about the case before the action button was out. There's tons of YouTube videos out there talking about the case without the action button. I didn't do that. But let's go ahead and look at the Andar Aspen for the 15 Pro Max. Now, of course, they're going to make the Aspens for every single iPhone 15. If you even got a 14, you watch this video, they make them for the 14 and previous iPhones. So you can go out there and get one. All right. So first things first, we got check out this new packaging and our apps absolutely killed it when it comes to this packaging i love it it is such an easier packaging to get into previous than the last one although we don't get those little baggies the little baggies that the bags come in the little canvas burlap bags i love those little baggies we don't get those anymore when it comes to the Aspen, man. So this is going to be the technically T colorway, of course. And the first thing that you're going to see is going to be my little placard, my little card right here. As I always say, man, take this on the refrigerator next to your Christmas photos. And you go ahead and check it out like that. But you know, we still going to get the throw to the side treatment. And let's go ahead and look at the Andar Aspen. Now, the Aspen is going to come in a few different colors. Actually, they're going to come in nine different colors. Some are available for pre-order. Some still you have to wait for it to be determined but the colors they're going to come in is black navy sand brown technically red moss stone gray and blanc and i have a few of those colors over here so i can show you it these just has the action cut out not the actual button i'm showing you the color but let's go ahead and get into it once again this is the technically red this is my collaboration color with andar i chose red because all of us want a pro model iphone that's red we're not going to get it so let's go ahead and get a fire red leather case that a lot of companies don't offer when it comes to leather so let's take a look at it beautiful full grain leather when it comes to this, when it comes to you just give it that nice smell, leave the nose print on your case, the little greasy nose on the case so you know it's official when you actually smell it. So the inside, you're going to get that very nice color matched soft lining on the inside. You're going to get your magnet there and are not sure if they have the alignment magnet right here. That's something kind of really get some details. I love to see that alignment magnet. Hopefully they just don't have the circle. Hopefully there is an alignment magnet there. If they don't, let's make sure we get that alignment magnet right there. And uh, the rest of it, man, here it is on the right side. You're going to get that power button here, but on the left side, Everything that we've been talking about and bravo for Andar for finally making it correct when it comes to the action button volume up and down And we have that dedicated action button flipping down here on the bottom You're gonna get your cutouts for your type C and your speakers and you're gonna get your metallic ring that goes around your camera It's gonna also be black as well. So let's go ahead and bring the scale over here Let's see how much this weighs for all of my leather people out there on the market Dropping it on the scale this will weigh you 39 grams. So not too bad. Seems pretty good, man. So let's go ahead and pop this natural titanium in because I feel like this is such a clean combination when it comes to this Andar Aspen with that natural titanium. And here it is. Technically red with the natural titanium. It is here in all of the glory, man. Such a nice looking color, man. It complements the red so well. Let's go ahead and step around this case. So on that right side, we're going to get that button. Very nice and tactile. I'm always doing the emergency SOS when I'm testing that button for y'all, man. One day I'm going to call the emergency services, and it's going to be y'all fault because I'm testing the buttons out, man. Flipping over on the bottom, you see all of those cutouts are accurate, good to go. And on that left side, volume up. Very tactile. Volume down. I might have did them reverse. Action button. Very tactile, such a good action button. So not only did they deliver the action button, this is a very nice, audible, tactile 
uh, action button. I was gonna say audio button. You get that nice audible feedback when it press that button. Very good button because we found out a lot of cases kind of have trash action buttons. Not and all man. That action button feels very good when you press it. Absolutely perfect when you're talking about the the tactility of the actual button. So let's go ahead and look at the camera layout. As you can see right here, the camera is protected. You do have that metallic rim that goes around it. Now, one thing about metallic rims, always keep an eye on them because sometimes with these metallic rims, the more you bang and bang and bang and put them down, you may develop a little bit of wear and tear. So that's something that I love the added feature of the metallic rims, but sometimes, you know, I don't know. I'm kind of hit or miss when it comes to the to the metallic rim. I like them because they add a very good, nice look to it, but they really don't damage unless you just sit in this thing on bricks and different stuff like that. You can do pretty much good with that because I have a technically red right here that I ran for a good period of time. The patina started to happen and the metallic ring still looks brand new. So it's not that big of a deal, but just to let you know, there is a metallic brand, a band going around the camera. Now, let's go ahead and take a look at that late on the tail protection. Of course, I am rocking that tempered glass screen protector. Now, this is going to be a leather case and you're not expected to get tons of drop protection when it comes to a leather case. Leather cases are going to give you just your average everyday drops. If you're a clumsy person out there, if you drop your phone all the time, you probably may still be protected, you know, just throw that Apple Care and that screen protector on just for good grace. But I think for the every, even when you're dropping it, I'm pretty much sure you'll be good to go. My girlfriend was running the white leather case from Andar and she dropped it a few times. It may have damaged the actual leather case, but the phone was good. So if you don't got to worry about the drops, these man, myself, I can easily run one of these leather cases because I don't really drop my phone a lot. And I'm really starting to get into leather cases a little bit more because I just like the wear and the patina that the leather case takes in over time and it makes your case look different than everybody else's leather case out there in the market. So wear and tear is good. Lay on tear protection. You're going to get that camera lip so you're good when you were talking about putting the face down. Now, how does it fit on the phone? It's hard to really talk about fit when it comes to leather cases because once it's on, you're not getting any pulls or anything on this case, all right? The leather case fits very, very snug on the side, 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 over here by the button. You really have to pull it, but this is that hard material when it comes to that leather, man. Top and down, top and the bottom, very stiff to pull. When that case is popped up in here, it's up there good. You don't get any moving corners. You, you don't get anything feeling any type of weirdness when it comes to the fit of this Aspen. The Aspen fit has always been A+. plus, Perfect fit when it comes to it. When this phone is snapped on the phone, you don't feel any corners are easy to remove. Because that's one big thing. Once you hear that snap, you know, they all snap up there with good. You know, one thing about the Apple leather case, you always have one corner that would just kind of like blah off. You're not getting that with the Andar Aspen. Every single corner snaps up there with authority and you have a very tight fit. Now, how does it feel in your hands? This is a leather case. Leather cases aren't here to add a bunch of bulk to your phone, all right? They're here to keep the phone thin and give your phone a little bit of elegance when you are talking about your actual case. And the feel of it in the hand, it feels good. It's a leather case. You have two parties when it comes to the leather cases. You might think it's slippery. You might think it's a little bit grippy. But in my opinion, I feel like over time, and this is my opinion, this is from my experience, it is slippery when you first get it out the box. It's going to be new. You're going to have that fresh leather. It will be a little slick. But the more you use it, the more your hands start to really develop that patina and really get those oils in it. Even though this case doesn't have a deep patina, I can tell a big difference in these two cases holding this one. This is one for the 14 Pro Max. Holding this one, I can tell a huge difference right now in my hand, the way these sides, which are a little bit darker because this one was starting to patina. When this Technically Red came out, I was actually running this for a little bit. And you can tell a big difference in the grip of this case in comparison to the grip of this case. This case still feels a little bit slippery because it's brand new out the box. This one, I've been using it, kind of had accustomed to my oils and my, you know, and all the stuff on my fingers, paws, all right? But it starts to add a little bit of grip over time. So as you use your Andor Aspen, I feel like it does develop a little bit of grip over time. Now, let's go ahead and bring MagSafe over here because you already know everything has to have MagSafe. MagSafe compatible. Let's go ahead and check out the Magnus on the Andor Aspen and yeah, as you see, it does pick up this base. Now, I got to put my hand down here because it's not really picking it up with, it's, it's a pretty good base. I mean, there it is. I can kind of look at it and I, I can probably move my hand, but I don't want to damage my desk. So I can probably leave my hand right here. But as you see, the Andar Aspen has very strong magnets where it picks up this base right here. So that's kind of rare to see when it comes to a leather case. Most leather cases have pretty good magnets, man, but Andar always have bought the strength when it comes to the magnets to where they can pick up my base, man. So that's just why I really like the Andar Aspen because it really checks all the boxes when you were talking about the fit, the buttons, the MagSafe strength, the variety of colors that you can get. That's one thing 
that I always love about certain leather case manufacturers. And let's just go ahead and try the other MagSafe accessories over here so you can check it out. Your accessories work just fine. It's strong enough to where you don't have to worry about this thing coming to fly off when you are using it. Especially if you use a, a, a MagSafe wallet, this definitely isn't going anywhere. Put this in your pocket. It is not going anywhere. It's not going to slide off easy. So the MagSafe magnets are pretty good. They're good to go when it comes to this. Definitely more strong than what you need. And that's why I love the Andar Aspen, man. It just really checks all of the boxes and give you everything that you need when it comes to a leather case. Full grain leather, excellent fit, excellent colors that you can choose from to match your iPhone, excellent MagSafe strength buttons, Everything just does well, and it does patina very well over time. So head to the link down below, man. If you're a leather case owner, if you're out there and you don't know what leather case to buy, the Andor Aspen is going to be a great purchase, but make sure you go out there and hit the code. Hit the link down below. It's going to be a pre-order right now. They're still in pre-order phase because they did have to fix their cases because their previous cases, and I see these are 15 Pro Max versions, but these have the actual cutout. Now, these are going to be different colors. Some of the colors. This is going to be their brown, which is a nice brown, kind of classic brown that you always get. Jet black, which I always feel like is very clean in my opinion, and this is going to be their new Blanc. This one actually has the silver ring around it with the actual silver buttons and different things like that so that's going to be a different look as well make sure you use my discount code man take t take you a little bit off your percentage of your order these will be in pre-order and they should be shipping up and coming in the next few weeks and you'll be able to get your andar aspen you'll be able to get those updated cases with that action button and trust me when you get it in you will not be disappointed everybody who have an aspen right now let me see the hashtags down below man team aspen Tell other people your experiences of the Aspen, and trust me, when you go out there and get one of their cases, very comparably priced around, what is that, $49.99, I think is the price of the Aspen. Let me just check real quick so I can give you the, the correct, okay, the correct stuff. The price of the Aspen is going to run you $55, all right? So $55, use the code TECHT to take a little bit off that, get up in that $40 range. You're going to have yourself an excellent, excellent case for the money.